Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Would you look where we are? We are live at the Halo booth here at CCXP. This is the Paramount Plus Halo the Series booth. And look what I managed to smuggle into the event. The Halo Fleetcom Mongoose. One of three sets based on the Halo TV series with the Fleetcom Warthog and the Renegade Banshee. And just pretty cool, pretty iconic to have the Halo the Series set here at Halo the Series booth. Like you cannot get more of a fine pairing than that. So what I'm gonna do is basically, this is the last of the days at CCXP. Installation 00 and I have just been working pretty much non-stop and I wanted to deliver some mega content by the end of this. So on the last day, I decided I'm just gonna build this without stopping, without a break, and we'll be done by the end of it. So we got two bags. It won't take long, honestly. I don't think it'll be that much of a, a real task and you can just enjoy all the halo goings on behind me while I build. I'm gonna try and get it on camera. I'm not exactly sure to what uh, degree this is gonna work. I, if I was like a more prepared man, I might have two cameras, one uh, you know looking down at the set, but it, this is just a spur of the moment thing and also like the easiest set to build in, uh, in the library of sets right now. So I would have loved to have the Fleetcom uh, Warthog here, but that wasn't on the table this time. We're just gonna have this beautiful little set and then we're gonna position it all over the booth. I also ran a, a contest to decide the name of the, uh, the Marine in this set and um, the, the name has already escaped me, but I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that, I'll, I'll figure it out. So the Fleetcom Mongoose, one of three sets for the spring line and uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool that we've got these sets coming out right now and at the same time, just yesterday, Installation 00 and I watched the uh, preview, the teaser, for the Halo TV series live on the stage. And I gotta tell you, it was incredible. Like, it's honestly, it was mind blowing to be like on a cinema screen, like in a cinema screen, and watching a trailer for the new Halo TV series. Like, just an unreal experience something I am super grateful for and something that I certainly won't forget anytime soon. And I thought I'd just take this opportunity to talk you guys through uh, what I've been doing for the past uh, week or so, because it has been a roller coaster. Let me tell you, I have barely breathed. Is insta- <laughs> What are you doing there, Martin? Get out of my shot, dude, get out of my shot. I've, I've got enough footage of you over this weekend, Martin. I don't need any more. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a match made in heaven between Installation 00 and I. Uh, he is now my best friend and also just a father figure to me, you know? Someone, <laughs> someone I hold very near and dear to me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been incredible. Um, I attended the uh, Europa Halo event in Blackpool, England a little while ago. It was a uh, Halo eSports event that um, I, I kind of just went to advertise uh, some mega blocks and just have a good time. Installation 00 was meant to be there, but ended up having to cancel because his car broke down. And I messaged him afterwards and I said, you know, if you ever find another opportunity to, um, you know, have me as a cameraman, I would love to come and film your project Mjolnir. I would love to just like, you know, make some fun videos with you. About three or four days later, he approaches me and says he's going to Sao Paulo, Brazil to uh, work for Paramount Plus to advertise the Halo TV series. And um, I jumped on board as the cameraman. And here I am pretty much with like a fairly broken voice. Like I am absolutely exhausted, but it's been a hell of a ride. Like I think we'll definitely be working again uh, together soon and there's a lot more opportunities out there. And really like, yeah, we've been paid to be here by, by uh, Paramount, but they don't expect us to like speak positively about the series at all. We can speak our own minds, but everything I've seen here gets me so excited for the new season of uh, the TV series. It's been a breath of fresh air to see the positive uh, comments online about the, the new series. Like it's just been incredible, it, like again, like I said, to be like in a cinema screen and to watch like graphics of the fall of Reach in live action is just so immense. 
And the, the positive comments online, like most of the feedback towards the TV series right now that I can see, like, yeah, a lot of the comments are still just dogging on the original uh, season one. And I can see why people would do that. But most of the comments about season two are very positive. Also behind, you can see there's a Master Chief for a photo opportunity. It switches every so often between a Halo 5 Master Chief, Halo Infinite Master Chief, and Kai um, for a photo opportunity. Then behind on the right side, we've got a booth uh, where people can go through and take place in some like military drill. And uh, at the end, if, depending on how well you did in this like military simulation, you've got a, a laser targeted gun. I'm gonna be showing it off more in the future. But you have this like laser, laser tag kind of gun. If you shoot the insurrectionist well enough, uh, you can get a badge between normal, heroic, and legendary difficulty. So honestly, like no expenses have been spared on uh, the creation of uh, this booth. And it's really just great to see Paramount putting the money down and supporting Halo the TV series. Because it's about time they got some support. Uh, because yeah, it's been, it's been a difficult, been a difficult, it's been a rocky time, you know what I mean? Uh, being a Halo fan has been challenging, but uh, Installation 00 and I were talking this morning and saying like we could legitimately be on the precipice of like a new golden era of Halo. Like it's absolutely possible that going forward we have like banger after banger of uh, new series um, of shows on Paramount Plus. We have banger after banger of new seasons of Halo Infinite. And uh, yeah, we just enter this point where like everything's coming up Halo and I could not be more elated to think about that as a possibility. So I hope you guys have enjoyed some of the content that I've been putting out with Installation 00. As is the case with any of these events, like there is quite a long uh, period of approvals from companies. Like we can't just drop most of our content. We actually have to get it approved. So these things take a minute, but we have like Literally, the amount of content we've recorded is kind of dumb. Like, we came here with a, ver a very slim content brief. Like, Paramount didn't actually need us to record that much. And, my goodness, we, we over-delivered pretty much in, in every way. The same I do for, like, SDCC or, or anything, really. Like, if you have the opportunity to come and do this, like, do it to the absolute best of your ability. Like, that's how I view it. And uh, that's, that's certainly what we've been doing. I hope you're enjoying watching this come together and let me know if you've been able to score this so far. It had a pretty good drop on Amazon uh, about a month or so ago. The, the uh, Fleetcom Warthog is a little more difficult to find, the Renegade Banshee as well, but they're going to come out slowly. They are spring sets, so they are early if they do come out right now. Look at this. The amount of printed detailing on this thing is just exceptional. And I'm uh, getting towards the end of the build and just crossing my fingers and praying that the audio is good. I know the uh, the focus is going in and out, but like, it's, you know, you can see that this is a, not exactly your average uh, shooting location. I'm currently drenched in sweat and people are standing right next to me looking over uh, at what I'm doing. Oh, there's Kai walking behind. Yeah, I've especially been enjoying making YouTube shorts and TikToks of this event. It's been really fun. And would you look at that? That is the Fleetcom Mongoose in all of its glory. Let's have a little macro look at that. So many printed details, so many new pieces, and Kevin uh, from Mega and I have got a little showcase of this coming soon on, a, on Mega's official Instagram account. Uh, yeah, it's just a blessed time uh, to be able to come to Sao Paulo, Brazil, of all places. My flight was meant to be this evening. Uh, as of recording this, it's Sunday. I'm gonna release this on Monday, but my uh, flight was meant to be Sunday evening. I decided to uh, postpone it till Thursday, and I'm taking a trip to Rio de Janeiro to uh, see just all the sights there and enjoy my time. So watch out for uh, a couple more bits of content of uh, this guy around this event coming soon, because uh, look at that, that looks amazing. And I hope you enjoyed this just dead, drop just not stopping um yeah one cut i thought it was the best way to do it particularly with my busy schedule and just a uh, shout out to you all you stay awesome you stay safe and thanks so much for tuning in thanks as always for your continued support especially when i'm doing paid promotions like this and we'll see you next time folks the halo booth at ccxp 2023 is signing off